Player hate thread. Post players or player behaviours that you hate. This can be either a person you hate outright or people you like but certain behaviours about them annoy you. I like my group as people but as a group they share two traits I cannot stand. Laziness and total lack of initiative. I think that comes out in people that you invite to a game and they don't even have a character sheet. Yeah. It's like what have you been doing? Yeah. Laziness. This appears to be their defining trait. They don't want to do anything that requires effort. They refuse to run games themselves despite being offered the chance to do so because it's too much work. They refuse to try new systems because learning new rules is a lot of work. They are reluctant to, or often refuse to, discuss the game outside of the designated game time slot. When I ask for suggestions, I often get nothing. Is it too much work? Am I the only one with a full-time job? Everyone else is either a casual worker or a student. So I've got the least time of anyone, yet I still run a game every week. Lack of initiative. What do you want to do next session? I don't know. Whatever. Does your character have any personal goals? Uh, not really. Any suggestions for future plot lines, rule changes, etc? Not really. For fuck's sake, have an original idea. Stop leaving all the work to me and then bitching when you don't like what I've written for you. If you refuse to have any input on the game or its direction, and instead just passively wait for me to feed you the story, then at least have the good grace to go along with what I've written instead of pissing and moaning about it. I don't understand people like that, you yeah. know? Like, look, for me, I've built a job around talking about other people's games. So yeah. I love I love talking about games. I love hearing what people have to say, yeah. what they've been getting up to. Um, I used to do a lot of, like, T, uh, not even TGI, we used to do, like, used to do like tarred stories and stuff like that, just like random green tags. Mm -hmm. But they always felt very Tumblr esque. Mm -hmm. It was always like, oh, and then everyone got up and clapped Fuck. at the end. Yes. And it's just like, me, everyone knows that never happened. But when it comes to tabletop games, it feels real. It feels like, even if people want to embellish a wee bit, I do believe what they're saying is for the most part true. Yeah. And, you know, you can really make anything possible. Yeah. Talk about running anything except D&D 5th edition. Players find every excuse to drop out. Claim they have other obligations. Don't read the rules. Don't make characters, etc. Mention D&D for any reason. Players ask when I'm going to run again. Even if I never said I was. Clear their schedules. Start making characters before I even come up with a theme slash setting. Every fucking time. I'm like a beaten wife. I keep giving in for some reason. <laughs> Look, I, I feel... I, I honestly do feel bad for DMs. Yeah, in these I feel situations, because I know myself, like I know that they're going and all, yeah. I, like we but I, say, but but I actually don't have the fucking time. Yeah, we always to... say it's hard to find a good DM. Yeah, it is. But it's, it must be even harder for a DM to find a decent group, one that they're happy to play yeah. with. Yeah, and that they get along with, and that the players all get along, and yeah, a good dynamic. No, yeah, there's no like bickering between them. There's no arguments between them. Instead, and if there is, it's in character, and it's a reason. Yeah. It has yeah. to add up and yeah. make sense. Yeah, guys, just tweet your DMs, Cole. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you find a good DM, you suck his dick, and I'm not sucking your dick, Neil, uh, neck, or fucking Teal, Teal. <laughs> or Jonathan, I might add to that. <laughs> and, and yes, yes, Ogan as well. <laughs> yes, you too. <laughs> Player who uses charisma-based skills to get out of any situation. I mean, but you can do that in real life. Yeah. To a certain extent. Y yeah. I mean, you're not going to talk your way out of the Nuremberg trials, but... <laughs> but, like, come you on. Can t you talk yourself out of a lot of situations. You could probably talk yourself out of a ticket if you want to. Yeah, you could go that far. Persuasion, intimidation, charm, seduction. Doesn't matter which one or the context of the situation. Party face in whatever game will inevitably try to use this to avoid consequences. Gets mad when I put high penalties on their check for different contexts and get mad when they fail despite their bonuses. Stop trying to seduce the guards when you're sneaking around the castle in the dead of night. Just because I did it once in a prison and it actually worked doesn't mean I'm going to allow it with every encounter. I mean, like... Well, are, 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 honest, to be honest, if it worked once for me, I'm going to try it again. Yeah, but like, really... It's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to break into uh, an art museum. Yeah, I'm going to break into the Tower of London and, and, then, um, and talk charm my way through the, the, guards. the royal it, guards. It's just not going to okay. happen. It's never going to happen. Yeah. But you could talk your way out of some situations, not yeah. all, but... Player is an unironic fucking furry with a diaper fetish. You can't fix that. I'm sorry. No. You're just going to need to take them out the back of the shed take the and L, put them down. Go. Yeah, just put them down out the back of the shed 
like a winded animal. It's the, it's the only it's the only. Or put them in a boiling pot like a crab and let them squeal. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? <laughs> like it's it, honestly, it's the most merciful thing to do. <laughs> yeah, plays beast folk, of course. You know the rest. Yeah, we do. Yeah. DM refuses to do anything. They're friends. Players all seem cool with his magical realming. Everyone but the furry is cool in general. They just go full autismo about the issue. What do I do? That doesn't involve first, first degree charges. I couldn't help you, mate. I, I, <laughs> I, I also, I, I also, just leave. yeah. I, just leave. But I feel like you know, I, I've never came across that. Well, okay, I've came across that once IRL where there was one player that was just a bit of a dick, but everyone else was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Just leave. Mm. No, I couldn't sit at the table. With yeah. Because I would constant. I me and my mouth. <laughs> yeah, you you definitely I wouldn't. Couldn't. You couldn't handle it. I no. couldn't. No. One player type that's rather annoying is that I'm just coming along with the party because that's how the game works, but my character's goal doesn't align with the story, so I vehemently refuse to participate in it. This is in the same page as the guy who just pisses off NPCs because he thinks he's funny, even when it's clear that the GM wants to move on to something else. He will keep pestering NPCs and have given the chance to get away with it, would pull the king's pants down in front of the entire court. <laughs> yeah, I've met that yeah, type of person. I've met that type of person too. I am not that type of player, and I, I will point that out. I am not that bad. Mm. No, Megan, I am not that bad. Okay. No, no I've never, whenever I ever decide to be. If uh, it, if no. it enhanced your chances of getting money, you would do it. No, Megan, the only time I do that with NPCs is whenever I decide I want a new pet. And I just take them along. Mm. I, li- I like to collect, extract. This. Look, come on! I- I- is it a D and D game if you didn't adopt a goblin at some stage? <laughs> like, come on! Everyone's adopted at least some from a goblin that was quite nice. Yeah, I married you. <laughs> <laughs> and now the models of our website, brought to you by neckbeardia.co.uk. Get you all some of these titties. Dwarf titties, orc titties, cat titties, fat titties, the gases and we assist a bit. Vampires and goblins and all the buff champions and even hentai, yeah that too. Dragons, matagors, ogres and no some bugbearers and even more to you go still. Undead and demons and then our friend Pally and definitely not 40k. Wood elves, dark elves and lizards and Megan the Slither and James the look cool as he stands. Beholders and kobolds and tyrants and only in a donkey with a frying pan. If you don't want no models, then no need to bother. We now have subclasses and teas. Also, Garbro's book. Go have a look. Check out the link to Kofi. Thank you for watching our videos and giving our channel a hand. But this is the end, our viewers and friends. So let's get back to the video, man. <laughs> I fucking hate myself. <laughs> I have a player that is so actively repulsed by even the slightest unpleasantness that they will threaten to leave or set out multiple sessions until that unpleasantness goes away. I don't even mean overly grim, dark, rape, torture, good end, guts, etc. I mean anything that isn't sunshine and rainbow. Oh my god, how are you meant to do a game at all? Yeah, I feel that's a very difficult one to... What, how are you meant to have an encounter? Are you meant to hit each other with pull noodles? Yeah. Or a pillow fight? It's like, Jesus Christ. Well, well, we'll see, we'll see. Well, let's find out more. This random murderous bandit on the street said mean things about your party. Ugh, can we not do this? What? The DM describes a zombie's head falling off in more detail than none at all. No, no, no. No, thank you. None of that. People are sick and dying during a plague. Uh, don't you think this is a little close to home? I'm doing this to escape that shit in real life. Jesus fucking Christ. I I don't know what you could do with this person. I don't know how you're meant to play a game. How you're meant to stage a game? Like, like we've we've already oh, said yeah. we, we've already said earlier in this video. Yeah, coming into that shit, just stand up, walk, out, go home. Yeah, but but uh, I don't know how you would even. I don't know how you interact with this person. I don't know how you would make a game for them at all. What's the objective? I don't know, if, if, put if, on if, put on fucking Care Bears in the background and let them watch out what you play. Yeah, I can't, I, I honestly I'm I'm really struggling to think of a scenario. I know because the whole like I'm not even gonna get into it. And God forbid anything actually a tad grim comes up. We had to cancel the game because some mention of slavery and prostitution ended in him just silently leaving the call and refusing (laughs) to come back until the GM came up with something else. And it doesn't just extend to games. If a conversation gets heated or two people talk about a movie or some shit they have different opinions on, he'll loudly demand we stop bullying and grind the atmosphere to a fucking halt. All this is mildly tolerable because he's not in all our game, and he's a good dude otherwise. But Christ, 
What kind of game can this person even play? I have honestly no idea what they can play. Mate, you couldn't play Monopoly with me. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm you fucking... Get, I'm, I'm ruthless rith- at Monopoly. You get a top hat fucked at your head from yeah. me. A metal top hat gets bounced and a car comes flying straight after. I have honestly no idea. What, 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 okay, what type of adventure can you go on where you don't over- overcome adversity? At all. Or even get into... Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, do you have any ideas what you could even do with him? Because there's okay, okay. Um, we could clear the that side of the. Oh, I know. What Farmville? Yeah, Farmville actually is the only thing I can think of. <laughs> yeah, Farmville. Play farming simulator tabletop. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly. That's, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm having. A, I'm, you know the thing is, normally I'd be like, oh, this person doesn't exist. This person isn't real. But I do have an internet connection, so you know. Yeah. We do, we, we all know I, we, we know all know like these, these people. Exist, but like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I, I don't know how to help you, mate. Characters that defend another character's bad behavior because they're friends doesn't even calls them out for that and lets them do what they want. Only blaming others who calls them out. Players who answers with play it out and role play. Rather than the answer my question that could help me out during roleplay when I'm clueless. Par gaming. I mean, par gaming's not the worst. It's not the, the worst, worst, but there's definitely worse out there than par gaming, but it's still, it can still be annoying. It, 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 look, as I said, I've said this many times before, it's only bad when it's one person doing it, and then you have to build yeah. encounters for that one person, yeah. and then the rest of the group's just sitting there with a dick in the hands, yes. useless. Yeah. Players playing PCs who say they fight for the good but are assholes and bad people themselves can do stuff with no consequences. I agree some honest ones about doing horrible <laughs> things, alright? I, I don't try and preach that I'm a saintly <laughs> being. DMs that can handle a bit of criticism and consider it an insult or attack. I mean, like, sometimes people do take things the wrong way. It's hard though, you know, I, I, I think, you know, especially in this, like, you need to remember, like, you know, let's be serious, vast majority of people that are into role sure. playing games are also kind of socially inept, yeah. let's be kind of honest, and it's a very yes. hyper-social game, yeah. and I feel like that's kind of what draws a lot of us to it, because it is such a social game, yeah. but we're also kind of bad at it, and I feel like, you know, any form of negativity or whatever, people can but take it the, the wrong def- way. the difference is, is... Oh, our <laughs> cat, cat, sorry. <laughs> the difference is, is with people giving DMs criticism. They, they, they're, Go Gate, low please. Gate. We're trying to record here. They're the ones running the game. So is it the way you're giving the criticism across? It's all in how you say it. Is, is it ver- constructive criticism yeah. or is it, well, you shouldn't be doing this because yeah. actually yeah. this is the time it's done. And, and you know the worst thing is because so many people are playing online now, especially in text it's format. It's to get that emotion that, across exactly. and I, th- I feel like it's the type of thing that generally should be done face to face because any other way can be taken the wrong way very easily and as I say look I'm, I'm going to put it out here but I'm going to assume most of us here are not the most uh, social or able to you know like you get exactly what I'm yes, about yes no like, I get it 100% but I think it's more like how you say it and how you give the criticism across yeah because at the end of the day this person is doing something They're doing for their you. best. <laughs> it's not even that. They're doing something for you. They yeah. Literally, without them, you wouldn't have a game. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Be, once again, be nice to your DMs. Be nice. Yeah, tweet your DMs nice. You can tweet your players like absolute dog shit, by the <laughs> way, if you want. <laughs> not a player, but the friend of the only female player in our group is often with her and just sits around and watches us play. We've tried to get her to join in many times, but... She always makes some weird excuse and watches instead. And half my players get pissed if I or others tell her to fuck off for some reason. I wouldn't have a problem with this if she didn't interject and talk all the time about random shit. Or how something in our campaign reminds her of some Warhammer 40k shit. Sometimes distracting the entire session for 10 to 30 minutes. No, you can get the fuck out. No, get the fuck, <laughs> get the fuck out. The only yeah. time I can think of anything Good. like this was... Sure, whenever I was in the one on a Wednesday and you would come down, but you were working. Mm-hmm. And you would come down and sit with us yeah. afterwards. Yeah. For a bit. Are you trying to say I was annoying? No, but you sat there and shut the fuck up and you just wanted to kind of see I what was I just sat going. there and watched his play. Yeah, because like, yeah. you were to work and I was still going to be another like two hours. Yeah. You know, so you would just call on over. Yeah. But like, see if you're going to... like. <laughs> Why is she not just playing? I know. If you're there for the whole time and you're putting... If you've got the time to you show up... Input, you're trying to put input in as well. Just fucking play okay. the game, bitch. Just do it. 
I mean, you can't fuck it or up that badly. Or don't get the fuck <laughs> out. Yeah, like you know, because the thing is, right? So I only really play online these days. Yeah. And like you know, you get people that come in and just want to spectate. Yeah. And that's fine. But you yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. Right. You're not playing the game. When you start talking, you're interrupting the flow of whatever is going on. Yeah. You know, and just sit you're down, literally not shut there. Shut the fuck up. So get the fuck out. That's all I can really say about that matter. Constantly have issues with a specific player showing up on time. Oftentimes he shows up an hour late. I'm sorry, you're not playing. <laughs> what what then, can you do with that? I know. And then pays minimal attention. And then leaves voice chat halfway through. Saying he'll be paying attention, but then takes five plus minutes to take his turn after it's declared his turn. It's getting skipped. <laughs> exactly. When I ask him to tell him politely and in no passive aggressive manner that it's his turn, gets uppity and annoyed like I'm bothering him. Get, Pay get attention. The, get, get, just get, get out. Get out. No, you're not. You're not. You're not in it. All right. Always announce a 24 hour notice with an at to everyone that our game will start on schedule at X time. Everyone else responds saying they'll be able to make it. Player does not. The night before yesterday's session, ask player if he will be able to make it on time. He says, I'll try. <laughs> Ends up going to bed. <laughs> End up going to bed late myself. But I see player still hanging out in another Discord where both in past 3 a.m. Still wake up on time to prep game for everyone. Players show up late again. Doesn't even bother joining voice chat like everyone else does. Does not make an any explanation to say I can't join voice yet because X Y Z, but I'll be on when I can. Halfway through session, see player in the same aforementioned server in their voice chat. <laughs> He's streaming playing Dark Souls. Like he wants to play Dark Souls. He's out. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're just gonna have to dump him. Lock. He's like if he wants just to play Dark him, Souls. Just fucking kick him from the desk. I wouldn't. I wouldn't sit about and wait for him. No, no. I, I, the idea of waiting. Like if he wants, he can show up from time to time. <laughs> but he's not going to be an active main player exactly. in this setting in this campaign. He can be like a one that shows up like maybe once out every yeah. three sessions. Get him play an NPC. Yeah, <laughs> essentially. I've been trying to be patient, and he's never been like this starting out. Well, like he doesn't have the time. He doesn't want to play. But I'm getting the feeling like at this point he's taking my GM for granted. And I'm going to have to say either pay attention or leave the game. But don't half bake this. I'm going to talk it out before next week. That's good. I really hope this works out. Yeah. But I don't know. You really need to be. I don't get it. I, I don't know. get it. I feel like for me personally, it's so difficult to actually find a decent game and also one where you can actually play with because like I'm mostly playing with Americans yeah. a lot of the time so it's normally you know? like late games like for us it's like half like one thirty in the morning yeah normally like a lot of the games I play it's 2 in the morning sort of yeah. thing and I don't really get and like it really does depend whether or not I'm able to show up I yeah. only have one game and it's always at 6 o'clock on a Saturday my time that's dead on I can make yeah. that there's no yeah. issue but I am going to assume this guy lives in the same time zone as you gonna guess but like he's yeah, not australian we can for kick him yeah i don't know what to do guys that's kind of sad to be honest with you I, I don't know what you do with boys like that so i think that's where we're gonna end it have you guys ever came across players like this or like just issues that you find with um, some yeah, people yeah what things do you hate yeah people that just From players doesn't... or dms and shit like that let us know i can't below. What, what would your one be megan probably somebody who's like watching over me constantly of what i'm doing yeah you know, and if I do something slightly wrong, you can't do that! Yeah. Fucking hell, Sandra, settle down. I know, sometimes people can be a bit over yeah. the top. But I don't mind that. For me, I don't mind whenever people say, oh, no, you can't. I say, oh, okay, okay, yeah, no, I've got yeah, that. But if it's, I, I, I can't play it as it, well. That's, it's different. But it's the way they're sanity the way as well. It. Yeah, it, it's, it, you know, I think a lot of the time people think you're trying to cheat or something. It's like, oh, I didn't realise. Yeah, sorry. sorry about that. Yeah, no. I'd say that would probably be mine. Yeah. For me... I know I'm gonna go with Coomers, people oh, that are yeah. obviously just trying to say yeah, yeah, and then and then I then I fuck them, yeah, yeah, no, and actually, I, yeah, I no, fuck them, get uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's like look, me, uh, just, just go off and have a wank, could you please? I don't <laughs> yeah. want to be involved with your, I, like, I, like I'm not here to sit and 
Ment- mentally wanky off <laughs> over the end. No, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm just, that's just not my job, guys. All right. I, like, I just, want, I just want to kill some fucking bandits and shit. I want to curb stomp some kobolds. I want to take all the shinies for myself. I just, that's all I want in the game, really. But yes, let us know yours down below. And while you're down, check out the links to the models, the t-shirts, and the subclasses. Hit hope, subscribe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us what you make of the new advert. I think it's funny as fuck. Megan absolutely despises it. I. <laughs> she absolutely hates it. But you know what the thing is? The song has been stuck in my head since I've done it. And I catch myself singing it all the time. It's a good wee, it's an, it's a good wee trip. Yes. Just saying. But hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>